Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Another day, another frivolous lawsuit from Wendy's guardian, Sabrina Morrissey. Now she is demanding that Kelvin Hunter, Wendy's ex-husband, fork over $112,000. Sis, I hate to tell you this, but you'll never get $112 from Kelvin, let alone $112,000. And honestly, Kelvin, this will probably be the only time you agree with me because I know you can't stand my guts. You better not give that crop circle eyed help for nothing. Now, according to Sabrina, Kelvin was overpaid his severance payment from Wendy in the amount of $112,500. Now, Kelvin was receiving $37,500 a month. And according to court documents, Kelvin received the money three months longer than he was supposed to, and Sabrina wants to get the money back. But Sabrina, until we know that Wendy no longer owes a half a million dollars to the IRS, who ended up putting a lien on her property, until we know that Wendy's son, Kevin, is taken care of and not facing eviction like he was before, which his mother would have never let happen, Sabrina, you shouldn't be fighting to get anything because honestly, it doesn't look like any of Wendy's money is being used to take care of the things that Wendy would have taken care of before. Where is the money going, Sabrina? We are going to break down this entire story, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now I told you once before, but I'll tell you again, anytime you can stay relevant, anytime you can stay in the news, but the public has not seen you in over a year, you have true star power. And that's exactly what Wendy Williams possesses. Now since the airing of the four part series, Where Is Wendy Williams? We've heard about different lawsuits that Sabrina Morrissey, who happens to be Wendy's guardian, has had with A&E, who is the parent company to Lifetime, which is the station that aired the documentary. Sabrina tried her best to make sure that this documentary did not air because it showed Wendy in a bad light. However, A&E was like, sis, you was all aboard when we first told you about it. You're not mad that it's showing Wendy in a bad light. It seems like you're mad that it's showing you in a bad light. But unfortunately for Sabrina, she was not able to get that documentary stopped and it was still aired anyway. Now she is suing Kelvin Hunter, who happens to be Wendy Williams' ex-husband. According to the U.S. Sun, it says Wendy Williams' guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, filed papers in the star's divorce demanding that her ex-husband return $112,500 to her after she said he was overpaid in their divorce agreement. In the court filing exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun, the former talk show host's guardian not only claimed that her ex-husband, who was 52, was overpaid, but she also wanted the divorce judge to issue a gag order to stop him from speaking about the case. And if you recall, she's the same one that requested that Wendy's guardianship case be sealed so we no longer were able to look at those documents. She also wanted the documents in the A&E lawsuit that she had regarding the documentary be sealed as well. They were temporarily sealed, but the judge ended up agreeing with A&E to let it be open so we were able to see what went on with that. Now she is wanting Kelvin to be gagged. She wants Kelvin to release no information about anything going on with this divorce. But why, Sabrina? Why can't we know? What is going on? Sabrina says that according to the couple's marital settlement agreement, Kelvin was to receive what has been delineated as severance payments from Wendy, who is currently 59. Now, you remember, we never really knew what his monthly severance payment was. Now we find out that amount. She claims that the payment to Mr. Hunter were to terminate if Wendy's yearly earned income is less than two times her then yearly income as of February 1st, 2020. The Guardian alleges that the yearly income is defined in the agreement as Wendy's W-2 income and any income paid as a result of her working on a show. Now, in the filing, The Guardian said Wendy, who had not shown up to host The Wendy Williams Show for her entire last season, stopped being paid her full salary in October of 2021, but Calvin continued to be paid. Morrissey goes on to state, I believe this was largely the result of the fact that the payment had been put on an auto pay function within her account. She added that the payments go against the express terms of their settlement agreement, which stated that Hunter's payments would cease if his ex-wife's income reduced to less than two times her yearly income as of February 1st, 2020. By holding on to the funds he was overpaid, he has interfered with William's right of possession to those funds, the document states. It goes on to say she continued to pay Mr. 
Mr. Hunter. He says in his motion papers that he was paid through January of 2022. As a result, Kelvin has been unjustly enriched by the receipt of $112,500, which is $37,500 times three. Belonging to Wendy, the filing continued. Sabrina is asking a court to order Kelvin to pay $112,500 sum plus interest back. Additionally, the Guardian is asking that the judge place a gag order on Wendy's ex. She goes on to state, I request that the court increase the protection of this case and issue a gag order, thereby instructing Mr. Hunter not to speak to the press or others except for legal advisors about these matters and to instruct anyone with whom he has previously discussed these matters that they should not communicate about these matters with anyone. Wendy's Guardian demanded in the filing. She is also seeking to have the court dismiss Kevin's request to bring the case once again before the court and instead decide if the case should go to arbitration. Now last month it was reported by the U.S. Sun and other outlets that Kevin was requesting the court to intervene after he claims the payments which were agreed to in his and Wendy's marital settlement agreement suddenly ceased just before she was placed under the guardianship in 2022. He is now asking for the payments to resume. In the documents Kevin said that their out-of-court mediation had failed and that's why he is bringing their case once again before the court. The father of two wrote, I rely on the severance payments for my living expenses and having been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. Wendy's ex is also demanding that the star via her guardianship immediately pay all severance payments, which may be due and owing at the time of their court order. Kelvin would also like documents pertaining to Wendy's after retirement plan to be executed. Kelvin also urged the court to compel Wendy's team to hand over all bank records from the date of disillusion of marriage until current. Now, Wendy's attorney and her guardian both agreed to give Kelvin those documents, but those documents never materialized. Kelvin seemed to want to take a deep dive into her bank account to see what was all being paid, where the money was going to, because these are things that he actually handled at one time. But because he was unable to get that information, he's not able to prove anything. So it seems like whatever is going on with Wendy's money, the world may never know. It also seems like anytime there's a possibility of us finding out about some information, there's gag orders put out. Things are being sealed. Sabrina knows how to work the system. She's an attorney. I personally feel like until Wendy's family is able to see these bank statements, until Wendy's family is able to see that the lien that was placed on their sister's home, their mom's home, their daughter's home has been released, this money doesn't need to go anywhere because it has not been taking care of business like it's supposed to be. I don't even know if this money from Kelvin is going to go to Wendy. We know nothing. So let Kelvin keep it. And I'm not even a Kelvin fan, but I'd rather for it to be in the hands of Kelvin than the hands of Sabrina. What I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about everything going on with Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy's account, and Sabrina wanting Kelvin to fork over $112,500? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.